friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a hard cataract with well dilated people let us observe this surgery this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome at mid limbus this is a side port on the right side of the main incision an air bubble is injected to fill off the anterior chamber Beneath this air bubble, Tripan Blue 0.06 percent dye is applied over the anterior lens capsule. The dye is applied in such a way that there is uniform staining of the anterior capsule. This is a bit of adrenaline to see if the pupil dilates little more. Now the dye is washed out with PSS. And now, 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected to fill off the anterior chamber. It is applied over the corneal epithelium for better visibility. And one more side port is made on the left side of the main incision about two and a half clock hours away. And now, Rex is with Eutrata forceps. Always the anterior leaf of the main wound is kept lifted off to prevent a grace of HPMC from the anterior chamber. Rex is done, and now hydro dissection with a 27 gauze cannula and BSS. The nucleus is stabbed, some more hydro at another place, and the nucleus rotates. Some more visco, and now is the time to introduce the FECO needle. It goes bevel down, some superficial lens matter is removed, and now the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up, to make the bevel of the tip of the fecal needle up. And now watch submarine chaff. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus. It goes through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator and a nice crack is obtained. It is rotated 180 degree and along the initial crack the two heminuclei are completely separated. So even in this hard cataract, we don't have to make a trench. This technique, this submarine job technique can do the job without making a trench. So the nucleus has been divided into four fragments. Each fragment is now tilted and the nucleus of each fragment is removed and the epinuclear shell is left. I am doing this to protect the posterior capsule. This epinuclear shell will act as a barrier to protect the posterior capsule. So all the fragments, from all the fragments only the epinucleus has been emulsified and the epinucleus is remaining. And now I go to FECO3 mode, the epinucleus removal mode and the epinucleus is nicely removed. The aim of this video is this, we can emulsify the nucleus and we may leave the epinucleus for removal at the last moments. And now cortical cleanup is being done quickly with this instrument. This is a 23 gauze Simcoe. So 
all the cortex has been removed ex except a speck subincisionally and it is done little bit of polishing of the posterior capsule is done and then a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens is implanted under irrigation keeping the antechamber formed by an irrigating cannula the lens goes into the capsular bag and now this is antechamber lavage the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma before that this is a bit of moxifloxacin the corneal stroma is hydrated corneal stroma on either side of the side ports are uh, hydrated to close these stab incisions and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber The antechamber is nicely formed, keeping the simco at the main wound. And see, there is no leakage of any fluid from the main wound. After checking the integrity of the wounds, few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface, and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Always take utmost safety measures for the interest of your patients we are just instruments of god to serve the mankind and as we serve the mankind with utmost love respect compassion we actually serve god